catalytic converters who is stealing these things who is cutting them off your car now you park your car uh, take it to a mechanic then it comes back with funny noises when you start it up then on investigation you find your car has undergone some uh, cesarean section uh, activities so uh, let's look at the catalytic converters on the episode today uh, what are these things so these are just um, uh, emission devices fitted on your cars to convert the toxic emissions uh, toxic gases that are coming from your engine through the exhaust system convert them into less harmful less toxic um, emissions for instance um, these catalytic converters do chemical reactions do catalyze the chemical reactions in your exhaust system uh, to make sure that the unburned um, oxygen that is not used up as well as the carbon monoxide carbon dioxide uh, plus other unburned hydrogen carbons that are found in your fuels are converted into um, carbon dioxide uh, as well as water which are not harmful to as human beings and environment so that is what happens convert the toxics uh, that come through the exhaust system the hydrogen carbons that are unburned from the fuel uh, plus the oxygen that is not used as well as the carbon dioxide carbon monoxide to just get co2 and water so the composition of the catalytic converter the catalytic converter works in conjunction with this thing here the oxygen sensor so this is the one that helps um, sense the amount of oxygen that pass through um, the system so these things were largely popularized in the u.s and they began coming into production from the production year 1975 that's when it was made mandatory for uh, newer cars coming into the market of the production line to be able to have catalytic converters so it was a law as from uh, the US and then other parts of the world followed. So a catalytic converter is comprised of rare metals that are the actual catalysts. So these are the three rare metals. Number one, we have rhodium. Then number two, we have palladium. And number three, we have uh, platinum. So what happens is these uh, metals are embedded inside uh, something uh, in the shape or form of a honeycomb you will see it looking like the um, honeycomb uh, that produces or that houses honey so the purpose of the honeycomb shape or the purpose of it all is to provide a large surface area for these reactions to take place so we have the outer shell uh, that is the metallic shell that is the housing of the um, catalytic converter and then just under that shell we have a ceramic uh, cover the outer ceramic shell uh, that covers uh, the honeycomb that has the composition of these rare metals that make it possible for for the reactions to take place so that outer shell is responsible of keeping the heat in there so these reactions have to take place under extreme heat uh, that is made possible by that shell um, that covers the honeycomb in it so why are these things being stolen why are people after these things as i said it's because of these three rare metals so these three rare metals um, we look at them uh, for what they are used and their cost if you are here you're watching this video and you're one of the people who are stealing these things please stop if you do it it is my hope and wish that when you wake up in the morning the next day you find a thousand insects in your pants don't do it um just don't do it it's not good manners so number one we're going to look at palladium so palladium on the market goes at about 80 dollars per gram eight zero dollars per gram so per kg we are talking about eighty thousand dollars per kg of palladium for the case of rhodium rhodium is what makes these people look for these things and dismantle vandalize your cars for this so rhodium goes for five hundred and twenty two dollars per gram quick mathematics that is about five hundred and twenty two thousand dollars per kg and then lastly for for platinum platinum goes for about 30 30 shillings 30 to 35 shillings per gram so mathematics that will be around thirty thousand dollars 
So uses for these metals, uh, platinum. Platinum is used to make electrical contacts. All those electrical contacts that run through uh, your electronic devices, phones, laptops, computers, uh, ECUs, platinum as well as gold um, are used to make all those contacts. Um, platinum is also used in the manufacture of um, some drugs. Uh, platinum is also used in the manufacture of um, magnetics. All the magnetic applications you see in your day-to-day -day life, um, that being loudspeakers, just speakers, and all those applications, platinum is one of the composition um, metals that uh, make the composition. Platinum is also used in the manufacture of pacemakers. Uh, that is how valuable it can be because it, it will not react with uh, somebody's body of blood. So platinum is used in the manufacture of um, pacemakers. Platinum is also used in the manufacture of um, jewelry. All the um, shiny glittering uh, jewelry that um, people put on. If we look at palladium, palladium is also largely used for jewelry applications, but majorly palladium is used um, in the manufacture of dental fillings. So if you have a um, hole in your tooth and then it needs refilling, um, palladium is what will be used uh, majorly to create the, um, the fillings that can be filled. Then lastly for rhodium, rhodium is widely used in industrial application. So um, rhodium is majorly used in production of nitric acid as well as acetic acid. So this is what makes these metals valuable and this is what makes them uh, attractive to the market. So who deals with them? That I don't know. We may find out. Yeah, so majorly those are the uses um, of those rare metals and um, that is the composition of the catalytic converter. If you own a hybrid car, mostly these are the ones targeted. Reason for your hybrid car that has been just doing um, local running, town service, uh, chances are you've used a lot of electric power rather than engine power. So your cuts have not been used um, a lot as uh, opposed to the internal combustion engines. So less chemical reactions have uh, happened with your cut. So the metals, the wear on the metals is not as much as the wear on the metals on the normal internal combustion car. So watch out. Yeah, so majorly those are the applications of uh, or the uses of those rare metals and the composition of the catalytic converter, why it's being um, um, targeted at the moment. And then lastly, if you have US taken out, should you replace it? Yes, for the emissions, for the efficiency of your car, please do replace it. But if you don't mind, uh, your car can still run without them. All you need is to probably reprogram the ECU and do what we call a cut delete. Those people who do a straight pipe uh, or aftermarket exhaust, some of them uh, many a times come without the catalytic converter. It has been deleted. So the use of that is just to reduce the back pressure because what is in your exhaust, um, the catalytic converter for those reactions to happen, that honeycomb, there's not free flow of um, the gases going, the exhaust gases going out. So there is that back pressure coming back um, to the engine or to the manifold. So if you eliminate that, you have enhanced the free flow of emission gases, exhaust gases uh, through the system. So at least the car is breathing better. So at times it's an advantage when it's out. All you need is just you need to redo the exhaust system, make sure there are no uh, leakages on the system that will uh, interfere with your cars running and and uh, efficiency yeah so i hope you've enjoyed learning about catalytic converters uh, please to support the content to be able to see more content make sure you subscribe click on the bell icon um, like it uh, you click on the bell icon to make sure that you can get um, the videos as soon as we upload them you can get notified thank you very much